Hello guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Java JDK on your Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 operating system. So just open your favorite browser and search for Java JDK and press enter. And the first link most probably which will appear here will be from uh, oracle.com for Java. Just click this link and uh, then you just need to agree and proceed. And in here you can see uh, two options. One is Java download and second option is NetBeans IDE, which we don't want. Okay, so just click this option which says Java. And in here you can see uh, many options for uh, installing Java on different operating system. So we want to install Java on our Windows operating system, which is 64 bit operating system. So just click this uh, link which says uh, Windows X64. If you have 32 bit uh, Windows operating system, you need to choose this X86 uh, option. Okay, so in my case, I will choose 64 because I have 64 bit operating system. But first of all, you need to agree with this license and condition. So you need to check accept license agreement and then you can uh, install java so once uh, this executable file is downloaded we can start installing this uh, java jdk on our windows operating system so now our executable file is downloaded so we are going to uh, start installing it by clicking this executable file and it will uh, start the java setup for us and i will minimize my uh, browser and uh, it will start this Java SE development kit update. So just click next here and just leave everything as default. Click next. And now the Java installation will start and in here it will show you the destination folder where this Java JRE and uh, Java JDK will be installed. JRE stands for Java Runtime Environment and JDK stands for Java Development Kit. Okay, so just leave them as default and click next. And now this installation will start and uh, you can see this progress bar once it reaches to the 100 or completion, our Java installation will be completed. So now we can see that Java is successfully installed. Uh, in here you will also see uh, if you want to, uh, you know, use this Java development kit for uh, uh, learning Java or uh, some document APIs if you want to read them, then you can just click next step and it will open uh, these, uh, this website for documentation in your favorite browser, whatever you choose here. Otherwise you can close it. And now you can uh, go to your folder explorer, go to C folder and in here go to program files and in here you will be able to see this uh, Java folder and where you will be able to see uh, this uh, JDK folder and JRE folder. Okay. So now we want to uh, set the environment variable so that uh, our uh, Java will be recognized whenever some program want to uh, execute some Java uh, application. Okay, so what we need to do is for simplicity, I'm going to change the name of uh, this uh, folder as uh, so I will rename it as just JDK. And for uh, JRE folder, I will do the same. I will rename it as uh, JRE. Okay. Now what we need to do is we need to go to the system. So search for uh, system in your Windows uh, 8 operating system and in here go to advanced settings and in here we need to click this option called environment variables. Okay. And in the environment variable, there is a category called system variable and in system variable you just need to uh, search for uh, this variable called path and click add it and in here so many paths you will be able to see so you may not uh, want to uh, you know 
disturb any path but you just need to go at the last and give a semicolon here and then what you need to do is you need to go inside this uh, JDK folder and inside this JDK folder go inside bin folder and here all the Java related executable files are here. So just copy this path up to bin and go to your environment variable which is path and after this semicolon paste this path here okay and once again give the semicolon and same we will do for the JRE folder so select JRE folder inside the Java folder and then select your uh, bin folder and just copy the path and at the last of uh, this environment variable just paste it okay and now you don't need to give any semicolon I think okay you just need to click OK and click OK okay so this will uh, set your environment variables now in some cases you may also need to uh, set your java home environment variable and how we can uh, set this java home environment variable is once again uh, go to the systems and go here in the environment variable and in here we can uh, create a new environment variable so go to a user variable for programming knowledge which is the computer name and click here new and in here in the in variable name enter a name like this java underscore home and in the capital letters you need to enter this okay so java underscore home and then what you need to do is you need to give the path of your uh, jdk folder in here so just go to your java folder and in here go to your jdk folder and you don't need to go more inside in the binary you you just need to go to java slash jdk and copy this path and paste it here so this path is c colon slash program file slash java slash jdk okay and click ok and it will set this uh, java home as your environment variable click ok and click ok okay so once uh, you have done all this you can check whether java is installed in your system or not by just opening your command prompt so right click on your uh, start button here and start your uh, command prompt and in here just give the command called java c and press enter and if you see all uh, these output then it means that Java is uh, properly installed in your system and you can develop Java in your system. Java C is the Java compilation command so you need to give the Java file name along with it to compile Java programs. Okay. So in this way you can uh, download and install Java on your Windows operating system. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.